Some of the most common operations in CAD are moving, copying, and scaling. And so BricsCAD provides an interactive widget called the manipulator for doing just that. The manipulator widget normally doesn't appear. So to turn it on, enter in the manipulator command and then set it to 1. Later I'll explain what the 2 setting means. So enter 1, press enter, and then select an entity such as this line. And you'll notice that the manipulator pops up. Now where the manipulator appears depends on where you click it. So if I were to pick near the end of the line, it appears at the grip there, select it near the middle, at the midpoint grip, or else near the other end, it'll appear at the other grip. Now the first thing I do is uh, change the color because I don't like the default of the all gold. And so I right click the manipulator, change to classic color, and then you get the red, green, blue, which represents the X, Y, Z directions. The widget looks the way it does because it handles the five most common commands, move or copy, rotate, mirror, and scale, along any of the three axes. The design of the widget is to give you a hint at how it works. So the curved arcs obviously rotate it, and as you move the cursor over one of them, it extends to show you the direction it will rotate. So there I am rotating the circle. Click to put it where you want it. To move the circle, you grab one of the bars and then the arrow heads will show which direction it'll move. Because you're grabbing the green one, it's going to move along the Y axis. If I grab the red one, it moves along the X axis. Similarly for blue for the Z axis. The arrowheads provide double duty depending on what you choose. You can see the mirror uh, symbol coming up. If I right click and then choose arrowhead access, you can also switch to scale mode, which I would find more useful. So I've chosen 3D scale, and now when I go over the arrowhead, you get arrowheads that change in size to show you that the circle will get bigger or smaller. So let me click, drag it back and forth, and there it is, smaller. Now in the center of the widget, we have these icons that look like planes, and that's for moving the entity in the plane. So I'm going to click the red one, and it moves only in this plane. Now click to stop. Now I'm going to grab the blue one, and it moves in the next plane, and so on. Using the widget while holding down the control key lets you make copies. I'm going to move the circle while holding down the control key. And when I click, then there's two circles. Similarly, if I hold down the control key while rotating, there's now two circles. Finally, when I scale while holding down the control key, there's two circles. Up until now, I've been manipulating the widget freeform, but you can do it precisely. So come down to the status bar, clicked in, and that turns on dynamic input. Now when I select an entity and use the widget to move, you can see that there is a, a distance there. And then you can come along and enter in a precise distance that you want it to move. The same works with angles. So we can put in 45 and so on. Now the widget normally positions itself in a default location, but it doesn't have to be there. And that's what these gold dots are for. If you manage to grab the gold dot right in the middle, which can be a bit hard to do, uh, so instead what I do is I uh, right click and then choose the move command, and then you can move it to where you want the widget to be, which might be more useful in certain operations. There is other uh, options here aligned with the world coordinate system, which is the default one that you currently see in the corner here align with the current user-defined coordinate system, align with an entity or face brings it back to its default position, hide makes it disappear. Reorient the manipulator is like moving the gold balls that are at the ends of each line, so there you can rotate it as you wish. Notice that the dynamic dimensioning allows you to put in precise angles. There are a few options for the manipulator, and uh, the best way to get through that is through the settings dialog box. So when the dialog box comes up, enter manip, and there's the options there. So you can see there's three of them. 
drag this over so you can see what they say. So right now we've got the manipulator variable set to one. So it appears anytime you select an entity. If you choose two instead, uh, it'll uh, only appear once you press the left mouse button, that's the pick mouse button, longer than manipulator duration. Duration right now is set to 250 milliseconds. And then here you can change the size. So uh, that's a medium size. I'll uh, put in a two so you can see what the big size is. All right, so here we have the circle. I'm going to left click it. As soon as I've held down the mouse button for more than a quarter of a second, the giant manipulator appears. Mm -hmm. 